welcome back to my channel it has been it has been a while uh, you guys haven't seen me around a lot and that is not very cool but I am back it is 2015 happy new year happy belated new year and um it's grinding time Last year, and maybe even more than a year ago, I made a tag, a shameless tag. I was back then and still am now, very inspired by Shameless Maya. I decided to do a tag, um, create a tag that would actually challenge myself and everybody who saw it to look at her and what it is that she's doing her shameless journey or her shameless challenge and apply it to your own life so that was what i did over a year ago and i had set a goal for a year to see what would happen if i would be shameless out of the box shameless um uh, nah. Nah. last year was a rough year for me honestly mentally it was a rough year it was a year that I made changes that I am honestly very proud of and that have affected my life for the better so those are good things that I can look back on that I can be proud of um, but I didn't reach my goals and um, I decided that I am not gonna hold it against myself because like I said I did grow and I did learn certain things from last year and I don't mind sharing that but it's gonna be too long of a video so this video is just to say if you're watching if you have set goals and you went after them and you fell down get back up even if you did not succeed the last hundred times that you do succeed this time and how can we do it that is the longest intro ever. Cha. If you want to go for a goal that you have set earlier, but you have not reached it in the past, you have failed in the past, it is good to see what can you learn from those past failures. Because those failures aren't actually failures or defeat, they're lessons of what you should do better. So I looked in my situation, what didn't I do last year um, to reach my goals that really was necessary to reach them and um, one thing that I learned is it is very 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 important to create a good mental space for yourself and with a mental space I mean in your head and in your home in your living environment um, that is so very important because if you don't have a good mental space, you probably won't be motivated to go after things because all of this right here is so cluttered that you can't think straight, you can't have a clear mind. So even with insecurities and fears, I would advise you tackle them. A quote that I really 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 love that I just read a few weeks ago is everything you want is on the other side of fear so what that teaches me is that you have to face your fears you have to go through them because your goal and the challenge that you're setting for yourself is on the other side of that issue and that fear they will hold you back if you let them my second tip is actually when you have a goal and you're setting a goal it is not enough to just set a goal but that goal has to be translated into actions that you can do in either this week or this day that you're living in now so if you set a goal what are you gonna do now today this minute this hour to reach that goal and um, one thing that I did do in my shameless challenge, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Because um, I did challenge people like, how are you going to reach your goal? Think about it. That was something that I did think about and I was super proud of myself. Um, I did think, how am I going to reach my goals? So a tip is, if you have a large goal, 
break it down into smaller steps. So if you really want to reach your goal, there are stuff that you have to plan out. So you have to plan out when do I want to reach my goal. You have to give it a certain date in time so that you can work towards that date. Um, even if you don't reach it by that date, it is not a failure. It prompts you to keep moving because time is slipping away. Um, another thing that you have to plan is how am I going to reach my goal? What do I have to do to reach my goal? And the third thing is what you have to plan is what am I going to do now to reach my goal? Because that way at least you know that you have smaller steps and things that you can focus on now, get that done, and every little step brings you closer to your big goal, the big picture that you have for you. So if you break it down into small tasks for every day, it gives you one thing to focus on at a time. And also when life hits you and, and challenges hit you, it might just be easier to do if you know what you have to do right now. And if you're like me and you find it very hard to plan and to stick to a plan, my advice would be to find tools. The first is a daily notebook in which you can write to-do lists. So like I said, when you try to reach a big goal, translate it into actions that you can do every day. So a tool would be a notebook with a to-do list. A second tool would be a weekly planner so that you can just map out all your appointments, all your deadlines that you set for yourself. And um, the third one that I would suggest that not a lot of people talk about is just a calendar. A simple calendar on a piece of paper. It allows you to see the entire year. And what I do is I take a marker. And every week that passes, I highlight it with a marker. So if you do that every week, very soon you'll see, wait a second, uh, a month just passed by. Like we are now in the second month of the year. It was just New Year's and it is now Feb February. You know what I mean? Time flashes by. And if you don't act now, if you don't move now, you will have wasted this year. So my third tip when it comes to reaching your goals is constantly surround yourself with either people, messages, words, inspiration, just about anything that will support you in reaching your goal, but will also educate you in reaching your goals. And if you work on what's going on in here, it really helps if you have positive people out there. Always keep learning. Be sure that you're always reading, always listening to, to, to podcasts, to videos, and, and, and etc. that will help you get educated in the goal that you're trying to reach. On that note, there are like a few podcasts that I would like to share. Um, I've been getting into podcasts lately. Um, I don't know what took me so long, but I really want to share Miley Teal. She is the founder and CEO of Curlbox. She's awesome. She's very disciplined. She makes podcasts about networking and all that good stuff. Um, really, really check her out. She's super, super cool. Link will be in the description box. And also Courtney from thinkandgrowchick.com. Ooh. I love, 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 love her. She is also very disciplined, but her podcasts are really on point. And I feel like she's very relatable. So, for from her podcast, I actually will recommend two. Also in the description box. And if you are all about setting goals this year and reaching them, you have to check all of her podcasts. But the two that I will link down below those are very important to me. So that was it for this video. As you can see, I didn't really go into details about how you can reach goals, how you can do this, because I'm still learning myself. Um, 
I just want to remind you that if you have set a goal and you didn't reach it, don't feel like a failure and just boohoo for yourself all day. Because it's not the end unless you decide that it's the end. I'm going to be super real with you guys. I've set goals and I have not reached them because I have not been keeping the promises that I have been making to myself. That's something that I learned from Courtney, thinkandgrowchick.com. Um, if you are in the same boat, that you have been promising yourself that you're going to do something and you didn't do it, it's 2015. Get your life. If you're gonna promise yourself something, do it. If you know you're not gonna be able to do it, don't promise yourself nothing. So, I think that we can do this together. If there's something that you wanna do, honey boo, sugar child, leave a comment down below. And let me know what it is that you want to do this 2015. How are you going to do it? And what can you do now to reach that goal? I will see you next month. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know that you guys want to see stuff like this. And I love you.